week's edition of Cover 4, we take a look at the Broncos secondary after they made the adjustment to go from a St. Bassey to bumping Bryce Callahan into the nickel, Devontae Bosby to the outside, and Michael O.J. Moody. The Broncos secondary allowed the pass rush to get home. Great coverage all across the board this evening. So what we're going to see on this play, you're just going to see a little bit of a cover one variation. Now on the top left, Michael Ojemudia, he's got a one-on-one matchup with the outside receiver because there is no other receiving threat. You're going to see Bryce Callan right here. He's going to have the curl to flat. He's going to drop there and protect. And then Devontae Bosby, he's just got deep responsibility, covering that deep third Justin Simmons covering the deep middle of the field. And then you're going to have Kareem Jackson kind of playing a spy on the interior in case there's any kind of post routes, crossing patterns. And then Josie Jewel Alexander Johnson, they're going to be the last resort on the interior. But the Broncos really getting this pass rush going with this secondary. Good coverage. I mean, this right here, if he doesn't get that ball out, it's a coverage sack. Devontae Bosby with a pass breakup. This was a big game for Bosby. It's been a question. Why hasn't he been playing this season for the Broncos? That's the big question that I've had. He deserves some more playing time. So here you're going to see Mike Purcell. You see Deshaun Williams. They're going to be playing in double three techniques. Bradley Chubb off the outside edge here. And then Anthony Ciccolo. He's going to be out here. Alexander Johnson is really going to be spying this running back in case he swings out here. He's going to take leverage to the outside as well. You really got to be able to protect against that because Michael Ojemudia, he's got a one-on-one. -on -one. So Alexander Johnson technically is playing man against the running back out of the backfield here. Kalen Balazs, or that's Frank Gore, one or the other. Uh, anyways, yes, he's dropping out there. He's just really protecting. Pass rush almost gets there. Devontae Bosby knocks the ball away. Incomplete. Now, on this play, there's going to be a pass interference call on Michael O.J. Moody. I don't agree with it. I thought it was a pretty bad call here. There was equal hand fighting by the receiver and him. What you're going to see, you're going to see this one-on-one -on -one matchup here. Kareem Jackson is going to play on the inside. Anything coming across, Justin Simmons is going to leak over the top. Devontae Bosby out here, he's going to kind of play like an outside underneath squat technique, almost like he's playing cover two. And then you got Bryce Callahan playing that middle hook to curl. And then you got Josie Jewell dropping middle. And then you've got Alexander Johnson kind of playing out here as well. So really the Broncos sending a four-man rush here, keeping everything in front of them. Michael Ojemudi has got a one-on-one. -on -one. Nice footwork, great opening of the hips. Good job getting on the hip. Now, here's my only critique, right? You know, a really, really, really good quarterback will throw this ball high to the outside. Got to be able to phase in a lot quicker. I think he does a great job recovering initially. He's got some good makeup speed altogether. This is just a terrible call. I thought it was great technique, great ball side hand here, and we're going to watch it once again. I mean, right there, perfect. He's got. He's in great position here. Knocks the ball away, incomplete. I just don't see how they can call that a P.I. That was a good play by Michael Ojemudi. The Broncos rookie. He's, gonna, he's, he's a fun guy to watch, man. Broncos defense is the best, in my opinion, when Bryce Callahan is playing in the nickel. He gives him the best coverage dynamic, and he gives the Broncos defense the best ability to do some really awesome things. So it's third down here. Here's what's going to happen. Okay, the outside receiver, number one to Michael Ojemudi side against Epty. He's going to run to the sticks. He's going to sit. Michael Ojemudi is going to sit on top of it. Chris Hogan is going to extend outside to the sticks. Break back inside. He does not get it. Bryce Callen knocks the ball away. And then Josie Jewell lined up right here. What you're going to see him do, this is almost like a nickel blitz. It's really crazy. He's shaded out inside the number three wide receiver here. So what Josie Jewell is going to do is at the snap, he's going to blitz off the edge. That means that Kareem Jackson is going to step down on the inside and protect against the number three route. If you play Madden, you always see that the number three receiver, the hook, that's exactly what happens. And then Simmons is going to be over the top. And then you got Alexander. Johnson playing inside out, and then you got Devontae Bosby over here protecting, especially against the sticks here on third down. So uh, what? let the play develop here. It's just a really wide angle here out of a 3 by 2 empty formation, and Bryce Callen does a great job. Ball side hand knocks it away incomplete. That's the stuff that I like to see. The Broncos did a really good job. You know, pressure coming here in Sam Darnold's face, but coverage matters, folks, in the National Football League. We love the aggressive approach here by Vic Fangio. The Broncos defense, they're in dime. And if you're new to football, you don't know what that terminology is. You hear it all the time, dime, nickel. Dime refers to there being six defensive backs. So we've got one, we've got two, we've got three, we've got four, five, and six coverage guys on the back end. Vic Fangio is going to blitz the house of Sam Darnold here on third down. Broncos being very aggressive against a three-by-one formation offensively. Justin Simmons rolling over to the top, and then Kareem Jackson is going to be playing this kind of middle zone. Anything that comes inside, he's going to take. you got man here, you've got man here, and then you've got man here. They're really just tightening up the coverage here, folks. I love it. And then the pressure gets home. Sam Darnold seeing ghosts here against the Broncos in terms of the pass rush, and I'll show you exactly how 
the Broncos pressure got there. Really love this. Shelby Harris playing his ass off, by the way. So what you're going to have here, in a dime package, you're going to have three down linemen. You're going to have your outside backers. You're going to have an interior D lineman, which is Shelby Harris. He's lined up right here in a zero technique. Chickalow off the edge, and then Bradley Chubb. But here's really where the scheme comes into play. Shelby Harris is just going to step up field and cross right here. You're going to see Alexander Johnson blitz on the inside, which means Josie Jewell, he's going to come back around outside, and he's going to get the sack here on Sam Darnold. I love the scheme. I love the design. It's tight coverage underneath, and it's pressure in your face. That's how it's got to be. And the Broncos have a formula here that I think is going to work. And look, they, look, they got home to Sam Darnold six times on Thursday night football. Devontae Bosby has earned himself some long-term playing time. He should have been playing already, but look, you know, you can't go back and change it. You can only give him playing time going forward. He had a very impressive Thursday night football. Now, what are you going to see? You see these offenses on short yardage situations. They always run the tight arrow and then the slant route. And it's almost like a tighter kind of underneath cover. Devontae Bosby breaks on it so quickly. Great freaking angle, too. 45 degrees. Now, here's the deal. Devontae Bosby, because it's going to be an inside breaking route, he doesn't attack here. He attacks at the angle of here. So he steps in front of it here. Great freaking reaction time. Pass breakup. Could have come away with a pick. The Broncos got a big boost from Bosby. And look, the Bosby bus is rolling, folks. I've been on that all offseason. I think he is a phenomenal player. Did a lot for the Broncos last season in limited action. And so far, the action this year is supporting that claim. Supporting that notion he should get more playing time. And look, I think he's earned it right there. That was a great play. This is a covered sack here by the Broncos defense. The pass rush did a good job, but the coverage was even more special. So what you're going to have here at the top of your screen, you're going to have three receivers. We call this a three-by-one. Broncos are going to go man coverage here. Michael Ojemudia, he's going to have man coverage on any outside threat coming out here. Kareem Jackson is going to step into that middle hook. Justin Simmons is going to take to the deep middle of the field, cover one. And then you've got a one-on-one -on -one matchup right here. Man coverage. Josie Jewell, he's man coverage on the tailback. If the tailback leaks out this way, he's got him. And then you've got uh, the inside guy on number three. You've got, I believe this is Bryce Callahan right here on number two. So uh, the Broncos coverage tight, especially considering crossing patterns. You're going to see an outside release to the top of the screen. You're going to see a crosser here crosser here and then an inside crosser by Chris Hogan underneath this is where the Jets really just try to get Hogan and they try to pop him right in the middle because you've got this tight route concept coming over here because look how tight this guy is he's coming right here and he's going to impede the progress of Devontae Bosby Bosby takes a great angle and there's nothing there for Sam Darnold that's a great undercut by the DB and a coverage sack by the Broncos defense Love it, and look, I think the Broncos, they got very aggressive on Thursday night. They might have a formula about what they could do against some of these other passing teams. Now, what you're going to see, Shelby Harris, he's going to be lined up in a zero technique. He's head up on the center, and he's going to crash on the inside, which means that the right guard and the center, they're going to focus on double teaming him. Jewel's going to take coverage responsibility here. Malik Reed off the edge has a one-on-one. -on -one. Alexander Johnson stepping on the inside here. He's going to have a one-on-one, -on -one. and then Bradley Chubb on the outside is going to have a one-on-one. -on -one. The pressure is there. The passing lanes are not open for Sam Darnold and the Jets, which allows the Broncos defense to kind of get home here, and he's seeing ghosts. He falls down sacked by Bradley Chubb. On this third down play, the Jets are going to try to be creative, trying to just create some crossing patterns. They know the Broncos defense is playing aggressive, so what you're going to see, you're going to see two by two. Two receivers here. You're going to have two receivers right here. And what the play concept is, is they're going to run the number two and the number one receiver on a drag route across the field. They're going to swing out on a wheel route, the tailback. So how the coverage lines up here for the Broncos, Kareem Jackson is actually playing man coverage on the tailback. you got man coverage on the inside by the number two here, and then you've got man coverage on number one on the outside here. And then, so what you're going to see at the bottom of your screen now against this stack formation, Devontae Bosby and Bryce Callahan are right here. So here's what the Broncos have to do. They're keeping safety help over the top. But they're going to have a communication combo call here, meaning that anything that comes to the outside, Bosby is going to take. Anything that comes inside, Callahan is going to take. And that's exactly what happens because the number two receiver on the line, he's going to release outside. Number one is going to come underneath, and he's going to try to drag across here uh, to be able to create a little bit of traffic in the middle of the field. The Broncos, they're going to blitz Chubb off the edge. They're going to blitz Shelby Harrison the three. 
Malik Reed, and then they're going to send Johnson and Josie Jewell here. Uh, really a great play by Bryce Callahan. I'll show you exactly what happens here. Now look at this traffic right here. This number two wide receiver is running on the interior. You got the crossing patterns coming up right here, which means that Callahan is going to run into some traffic here. He does a great job cutting underneath. Now the pass is still completed, but he wraps up and he takes the legs out of the receiver short of the first down. They mark it as a first down. Broncos challenge says no, not today. It is going to be fourth down and the Broncos get a big time stop on third down. Now, one thing I like the Broncos doing too, look at Shelby Harris. He's lined up initially in a one technique. He's going to audible over into a three technique for the Broncos defensively. Now you're going to see him on the outside shoulder here of the guard. You're going to see Malik Reed attacking on the edge. Josie Jewell, and then Alexander Johnson blitzing, and then Bradley Chubb. Broncos had success when they sent five. It's hard to get pressure on a quarterback in a four-man rush, but some twist stunts crashing on the interior. Good play, good coverage underneath by Bryce Callahan. Another great play here by Devontae Bosby against a stack formation. Almost comes away with an interception. You've got to finish this one, but look, man, he, he, he really excelled. And what you're going to see, too, out of the shotgun formation, and stack formations are tough because you could have crossing patterns, vertical releases. You could have a combination of things where they attack vertically, and then number one attacks underneath. It's just hard to cover. But the Broncos playing a little bit of that zone man concept here. There's still that combo communication, meaning that anything that comes outside, Bosby is going to take. Anything that comes inside, Callahan is going to take here. And then you're going to see your two high safety look. Simmons drop into the middle of the field here. He's really that rangy guy. Now what you're going to see here is you're going to see the outside release, deep out route. Devontae Bosby breaks on it. You're going to see an inside stem, and then he's going to break outside here. Callahan does a great job uh, initially on this one as well. This is in the fourth quarter. Devontae Bosby could have sealed the game, but look, he, he's getting some confidence. He's getting some great playing time. Breaks on the route amazingly. Has in his hands. It's incomplete. Forces a fourth down. And on the next play, Bradley Chubb will get a sack. That would end the game here for the Broncos. Taking a look at it, too. Also, hey, look at this guy right here. That's number 48. That's Derek Tuska, folks. The Broncos' seventh-round pick getting some run in the fourth quarter. That's good for him. Very excited about that. I didn't even notice that until I watched this film review here. Uh, but really, the release there by Darnold. Great job by Bosby breaking on the outside. Pass falls incomplete. Fourth down coming up. This is Bradley Chubb's sack on fourth down against an empty formation. What you're going to see, you've got three receivers to the left side. You've got two receivers to the right side. And the Broncos, they're in their dime package against empty. So anytime they're going to be playing teams that go empty, you're more than likely going to see the dime package. You've got your uh, coverage guys here. you got one man coverage. Man coverage, Justin Simmons manned up on number three. And then you've got one-on-one -on -one right here, one-on-one -on -one right here, which means that Kareem Jackson... He's going to float to the middle of the field and play that coverage responsibility. Broncos send pressure, too, on fourth down. It's not going to be easy. And that's the one thing I really like is that Vic Fangio dialed up the pressure when they needed it the most. Comes away with a turnover on downs. Somebody on Broncos Twitter said that fans should be worried about Michael Ojemudia being targeted by all these teams. Well, of course, he's a rookie. But if you watch the film, there is nothing really on the film that indicates that you as a Broncos fan should be worried about Michael O.J. Moody and coverage. He's been holding his own. He's been tested. He's going to make some mistakes. And on this goal line fader, he does a phenomenal job phasing in the click and close, and then he knocks the ball away incomplete. That's great body leverage positioning on the goal line fader. That's one of the toughest plays in football to cover. Michael O.J. Moody shields Chris Hogan and then knocks the ball away. Good play by the Broncos rookie. Now, on this play, I'll be critical of Michael Ojemudia a little bit. It's third down here, and what the film shows, the Jets love to run the deep out to the sticks. And so I can see what he's playing right here. However, he bites on the double move because this receiver, he's not going to run. He stems like he's going to break, and then right about here, he throttles down, bump, 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 double move, and then gets vertical, and Michael Ojemudia loses him. You got to be able to stay on top of that. Keep your feet moving. Boom. Yep, he breaks on the outside. And then, luckily, the pass is airmailed over him, and then Kareem Jackson's over the top. Those are some of the things he's got to work on, but I'm not too worried about Michael Ojemudia. Michael Ojemudia has been placed in various one-on-one -on -one situations, and he's gotten the best out of many of these reps here. And I've been very impressed with him right here. He's going to work. This is going to be a back shoulder throw, one of the toughest plays in football to make. Uh, and I'll get my analysis. Great initial step at the line of scrimmage, great hand placement, great squeeze, and it falls incomplete. Now... 
here's where I could say he's going to have to prepare because some teams are going to try to test him in this area. He's doing his back pedal. He's, he's fitting in here, opening up, squeezing. Now you want to make sure that that hand is tight on the hip because what's going to happen is teams are going to start throwing uh, those back shoulder underneath passes to where he's going to be in great position, but overall they might stop on a dime just to be able to throw it back shoulder. Hardest play in football to cover in my opinion, but Michael Ojemudia did a great job there.